Hey, what is up guys? So the Cubics, uh, I got a bunch of uh, replays of showing you guys like the bread and butter, different ways you can OTK your opponent. Nova makes things much, much easier than uh, other OTKs, but uh, for the most part, it's just going to show you guys uh, bread and butter combos of the Cubic archetype, as well as also giving you guys a deck profile. So some of you guys that want to try out the deck, I like this one because it incorporated a lot of the Cubics. Uh, some of them, they won't play all of the Cubics. Well, most of them won't play every single one. But for the most part, uh, it's a really, really fast-paced deck. Uh, as you can see, it's already game over here. Let me go ahead and explain what the heck's going on, and then we'll jump into the other replay and then the deck profile. But uh, anyways, so uh, the Cardians over here, pretty cool archetype. A lot of them are pretty high level, so Calculator would be very, very good in those decks. You can get Calculator uh, up to absurd amounts. We're talking like 4,000 attack easy if you're playing uh, the Cardians, but nonetheless, a uh, really easy combo is to have the Cubic Karma, and then if you have Duja, Duja will send one, then you go Karma, send triple if you happen to have uh, three in your deck still, and then you have the Noble, which actually makes it game a majority of the time, uh, especially if you already have the Aura in your hand, like you're re really, really set up to OTK your opponent really easy, and it's a good like example video of you know, how to you know do the basic combos of it, if you want to call it a combo, literally like you Aura a, uh, uh, Nova and you have game so Nova can attack twice and it's pretty much uh, well It's unaffected by uh, monsters whose uh, original attack is 3,000 or less So it can completely destroy like a lot of different decks and then on top of that it attacks twice And then during the end phase inflict 3,000 damage to both players So pretty much at that point, you know 5,000 monster attacking twice obviously it's going to be game at that point and it negates uh, the uh, or it's unaffected by uh, effects with any other monster whose original attack is 3,000 less. So it's a really simple uh, combo right there. Dude just sends one, and then uh, it gains uh, 200 attack for each monster. So really simple stuff. And then the other card increase the uh, the card's attack, but uh, nonetheless. Uh, just really quick little examples of showing you guys like different ways you can finish off your opponent because uh, I think Cubics are going to be slightly meta. Like I feel like they have a lot of potential in the game because uh, they're relatively fast. They have great search ability. They have like Wombo combos with chain material just to search out extra like free stuff. And Recording Nightmare is a really good card because it lets you add two dark monsters with zero defense. So you can see, oh wow, that was really fast, right? Again, Nova and Duja make a game really, really fast. Uh, for most decks, like they just can't deal with a 3,000 attack monster that can attack twice and then it burns for another 3,000 and then of course you have this to get over like a smaller monster so to speak, but nonetheless it, it's very easy uh, to OTK in this deck. And again, I'll give you guys a deck profile in just a second, but this one's actually a pretty good play over here because the guy that's playing Mujin still has a Solemn Strike and reasoning in this deck, man, I feel like this is like the new Infernoids almost because like you have a lot of cards that can't be uh, summoned uh, via reasoning, so they just go to the graveyard, and then obviously, uh, when you have a lot of them in the graveyard, Duja gets a lot of attack, and Duja can also send another card to the graveyard. So he goes ahead, gets out the Kareep Bandit, and then he banishes the Karma, banishes the Karma, because Karma has this amazing effect, if you guys didn't know, you just banish it from your graveyard, add any cubic monster from your deck to your hand. That's a pretty good card. Look, look at this hand! This is, in, this is one turn, too. Like, this is the next archetype that I feel like, some players will just get sacked by it, you know, Reasoning is one of those cards. Anyways, Psalm Strike activated, he goes ahead and starts banishing the uh, Cubic Combination. So what you're able to do is you banish this card from the graveyard to Special Summon on level 4 lower uh, Cubic Monster from your uh, hand or deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. Obviously that's a pretty good effect. Look, look, he still has this many cards in hand. Like, how is that? And then he activates the Aura. So Aura is a really crazy card. So you get a targeted cubic monster you control, and one face of monster your opponent controls. The first target's attack becomes double its current attack. If it does, the second uh, target's attack becomes half its current attack. So you have something, and then you double it. This thing can attack twice, and then it burns for another 3,000. And then on top of that, um, and yeah, you can banish this card and any number of cubic monsters from your graveyard, and then target face up monsters your opponent controls equal to the number of cubic monsters banished to activate this effect, place one cubic counter on each of those monsters. Monsters with cubic counters cannot attack, also they're negated, uh, their effects are negated. So, like, I don't know, that, that's, that seems pretty insane to me. Like, you already have a monster that's gonna attack, you're, you're, you're halving something, you're doubling this card to attack, and then you banish it, and then it negates the monster's effect, and then on top of that they can't attack, like, Please, Yu-Gi-Oh, calm down on those effects, man. That's pretty crazy. Look at 5,500 attack twice, and then he still wasn't done. He can burn him for 3,000 more, and then he can still attack. Like, I don't know, Cubic's looking pretty good, guys. Let me know what you guys think of this while we jump in the deck profile. That, that's crazy, man. Like, I don't know, Yu-Gi-Oh has just evolved so much. But let's go ahead and check out the deck profile, because I know a lot of you guys are excited to try out the new movie deck. 
Uh, chain material wasn't even used, but chain material is real boss in this deck. I'm sure you, we don't even need to get into chain material. You guys have probably seen how bro broken this card is in like a lot of different decks, and uh, for the most part, it's no no different in here. We got the Crimson Nova Trinity, where it's like it's it's like basically Tower 2.0. But anyways, we got three copies of Crimson Nova. So as you guys can see, like Crimson Nova plus the Aura is basically like game already, because uh, it's 3,000, and, and especially if you're gonna make its attack even higher and it attacks twice and it doesn't another 3,000. It's crazy. And then it negates uh, if it's attacking, uh, well, hold on, wait. Uh, yeah, if it is, it's uh, it's unaffected uh, by activated effects by monsters, 3,000 or less. So, like, it's a really good card. Uh, and then, um, and all that, like, you, you get to burn an opponent for uh, 3,000. That, that is both players, so keep that in mind. Uh, I mean, I guess you could tie a game if you really wanted to. Uh, next up, we got the Duja. So, Duja is really, like, key in the deck, because um, if it's normal or special, you get to send one cubic card. So that can be anything. That doesn't have to be, be just monsters. Uh, a lot of times players will send karma. Karma then can be banished to actually add any uh, cubic monster from your deck to your hand. So that's majority of the time that's what you want to go for. Although this card is still good if you happen to have it. You can still like utilize it because you just send all the triple vidrams and then um, you're going to gain extra attack. So you can technically gain 2400 extra attack and then like double that attack. Like it's, it's crazy. But uh, yeah, it's, he's really key, and then on top of that, um, if a monster was sent to your graveyard this turn uh, while you control this base of card, you can make this card gain uh, 200 attack for each monster with a different name in your graveyard until the end of this turn. So he can get kind of nasty, but for the most part, it's, just, it, it's usually just dump karma, get yourself set up for uh, later. And then uh, we got Summoner Monk, Summoner Monk, you can summon whatever you want. Um, you, it does technically help you go for rank fours because sometimes like you need to get over like a specific monsters and so you know the Utopia uh, S39, um, the Lightning that can help out you know get over problematic cards you know the Raid Wrap or stuff like so that really helps out. It's just like another like out to it. And then we have in Adoria the Death Bolt. So this is the Cubic Spear Super Emperor. So a lot of these have the effect where they can't be uh, normal summon or set. It must be special summoned by a certain way. Um, this one is by sending three cubic monsters you control to the graveyard uh, from your hand, and um, then it gains 2400 attack. If this card is special summoned from the hand, you get to inflict 800 damage to your opponent. A lot of them have that effect, by the way. So I'm just going to go over this one. And then this card in your possession is, just, is sent to your uh, graveyard by your opponent's card effect. So it's by battle or by card effect. You can target up to three cubic monsters in your graveyard and special summon them. Then you can add one. Like, I don't know, I, I'm pretty sure special summoning three monsters is a pretty good effect, but I'm like, why do you get to add another one? Just to make it, you know, better, right? Uh, and then, of, of course, we're playing uh, two copies of the Buster again, Dahl, the super, uh, the cubic super beast. So um, it's got to be a uh, special summon by sending three cubic monsters you control to the graveyard and can't be special summoned way, uh, by other ways. If summoned this way, it gains 3,000 attack. If this card can make three attacks during each battle phase, and if it's destroyed by battle by card effect by opponents. Uh, you can target up three cubic monsters in your graveyard to special summon them, and then you can add one cubic card from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Pretty good effect. Then we have uh, two copies of Curry Bandit. It just helps you, you know, obviously get cubics uh, in the graveyard. And it's not that bad getting them in the graveyard because uh, when you have Reoccurring Nightmare, we have some great targets. We got Nova as a target. We also have the uh, Super Beast as a target. You also have the Vulcan as a target. You have Blade as a target, and you have Vigem as a target. So there are a lot of targets with Reoccurring Nightmare. This is a plus one. And again, since you're going relatively fast in this deck, as you guys can see, like it was OTK, OTK on the first turn. Oh, uh, well, it wasn't like an FTK, well, so to speak, because it was, well, it was technically his first turn, but it wasn't like, uh, you know, it was turn one of the duel. But uh, nonetheless, you know, this is a really good card, especially because the deck is relatively quick. Uh, next up, we have uh, the two copies of Vulcan. So uh, it must be special summoned by sending two cubic monsters you control to the graveyard. If summoned this way, it gains 1600 attack. If it's special summoned from your hand, you flip 800. Um, but the effect is at the end of the damage step, if this card battled, you can target up to three copies of Vigem and uh, send this card to the graveyard if you do special summon those targets. Uh, and then uh, then you can add one Enora Deathbolt, the Cubic Super Emperor, from your deck to your hand. A lot of them have the effect to add like a specific one, which we'll get into once we go over all of them. But um, this is a really, really uh, good effect because, um, yeah, I mean, getting three of my jams is already like easy enough in the deck because you just activate Karma, send triple. Like, it's really bread and butter like combo right there. And then we have the uh, Blade. 
So Blade's effect is that you gotta uh, send two cubic monsters, and then gains 2,000 attack, and then um, when it destroys a uh, monster by battle, you can target up to three copies of by jam, and then send this card to the graveyard, and then special summon all those, and then you can add a buster. So that's a pretty good effect. And then, of course, Vijam is one of the more annoying cards you run into. So it can't be short of a battle. At the end of damage step with this card, battle opponent's monster. You can uh, send it to the spell and trap zone. And then place one cubic counter on that opponent's monster. And then monsters with cubic counters can't attack all to their effects from the game. And while this card effect is uh, treated as a continuous uh, spell card and uh, when it gets sent back, when it's sent there, um, you can also special summon this card. So just keep them coming back and make sure your opponent can't like do anything with the monster. So it's a really annoying card to run into, especially when it gets to summon triple copies of it. And on top of that, you have the ability to send three real easy with Karma. Pretty good effect. Then there's three copies of Aura. We already kind of went over Aura when we were watching the uh, gameplay. So just, you know, simple thing. Make make your monsters low and then make my monster ridiculously high. And then you have Monster Gate Reason because you got to go fast in the deck. Then we got two copies of Reincurring Nightmare, then Karma, like I said before, I uh, boost up the attack and then I uh, send three copies of a jam, and then on top of that you banish it, uh, and then you're able to add a cubic monster. And then we have three copies of cubic combination, so you get to fusion summon a cubic monster, uh, and then um, if a face of cubic monster is destroyed by battle or leaves the field, you can banish this card from a graveyard and, and then summon one level four lower cubic monster. From your hand or deck, ignoring its summoning conditions, and then uh, it can be short about all my card effects. But sometimes you're just using that effect just to bring out the monster, then you're going to go ahead and get rid of the monster to special summon whatever cubic you want. As you guys have seen, uh, it's really good when you like, summon it to the Grave of Reasoning. And three copies of Chain Material, because Chain Material has no explanation for this, uh, other than like, yeah, you know what, anytime you fusion monster, you, you go ahead and use your deck for, for material. Like, it's, it's absolutely crazy what you can do with this card. Uh, this sure the monster can't attack, but you can send them, you can technically just send it to the Grave if you want, finish off your opponent with like a Nova. Pretty good stuff indeed. And then two copies of Jar of Avarice, and then three copies of Call of the Haunted. For the extra deck, he only played 14. Uh, if you guys want to, you could go ahead and play like a, another copy of Castell, that's not a bad choice, or pretty much throw in whatever you want. Um, that, that could be in your option, guys. But he's playing uh, one Crimson Nova Trinity, and then one Utopia Lightning, Outer God, Azathoth. Uh, we got Utopia 1, uh, OG Utopia, Super Quantum, the Aeroboros. Then we got the Heartland Draco, Castell, Minerva, uh, Digoso Emerald, Dweller, Cowboy, uh, Nyarla, and then uh, we got the Sylvan Princess Sprite. Uh, you don't really make most of the stuff in the extra deck too often, but you know it's better to have an extra deck than not have it. Majority of the time, like, yeah, you can bust out this card, but most of the time in this deck, what I've noticed is like Nova's just so dirty. It's like it, it attacks twice, it's unaffected by things that are like lower than it, uh, and then on top of that, it, it can. Burn your opponent for 3,000 for like no reason. <laughs> like, why not, man? But, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think of this build. If you guys have any suggestions for this deck, let me know in the comment section below. But, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And make sure you guys give that like button a titty slap. And thanks, by the way, man, for sending in this awesome replay as well as the deck profile, sir. But, anyways, I'm signing out.